Get Sports Focus is presented by Dr. Ting, sports medicine and orthopedic surgery. After a showdown with St. Francis and losing in the final seconds of the game, Valley Christian looks to bounce back. Hi everyone, I'm Kaylee Krish and we are here at the farm getting ready for Stanford to take on UCLA. But first, it's Throwback Thursday. Let's take a look at a game from last Friday night between two undefeated Bay Area teams. With less than six seconds left in the game, quarterback Miles Kendrick was sacked by St. Francis Thomas McDivitt to end the game. Despite the heartbreaking loss, the young quarterback was tested and walked away with some valuable lessons. I think the big thing about St. Francis is uh, coming out fast, right from the uh, front gate. Got to come out fast in WCL because, uh, you know, teams are coming for us. And uh, Valley Christian, we have a big target on our back. And uh, a second thing that I learned is uh, just down the stretch decision making. And when it comes down to crunch time, uh, me just seeing the defense and uh, uh, paying attention to the clock management and uh, downs and just uh, knowing when to uh, clock it, knowing when to get back on the ball and run out of the play, uh, just stuff like that, just uh, fast-paced offense uh, to win the game. That's just uh, decision-making that I need to work on. There were high expectations for the Warriors leading up to the 2015 season, and they dominated with two shutouts to start the year. Texas commit Colin Johnson was Kendrick's obvious go-to receiver, but a shoulder injury would sideline the four-star recruit for good, leaving VC with a big hole on their offense. Losing Colin is a, is a big uh, kind of tragedy in our season, but uh, we have guys that are going to step up and, and try to fill his role and fill his uh, playmaking ability. Uh, you can't replace a guy like that, but... Uh, I mean, you can try to, you know, get a, a group of guys to rally around you and, and uh, play hard. Despite losing the league's top receiver, Kendrick and the Warriors managed to win two more games, including a thriller at Levi Stadium against Milpitas in Week Three, before falling to the Lancers last week. Right now, we're looking forward to bounce back. You know, this uh, second half of the season is going to be tough. We have big opponents. Uh, I mean, so my thing and uh, the team's looking forward to just bouncing back and just seeing if we can prove some people wrong and and uh, and start playing more football. Stay together, like we talk about, and work to get better. We will learn a lot from this film, okay? We will learn a lot from this film, especially in the box. And we'll make sure that we make the corrections we need to make. Everybody agree? So. Okay, Bob? I mean, I think uh, the second half, we're going to see a different Warrior team, uh, more focused and uh, more excited to be on the field. The Warriors evened out their WCAL record to 1-1, one 4-1 one, one overall as they head into this Saturday's matchup against St. Ignatius Wildcats in the city, who are also 1-1 one one in league. I'm Kaylee Krish, and you're watching Get Sports Focus.